Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video, we looked at um, how to find the central angle of a sector given the radius and the area. But in this video, we are going to look at how to find the radius of the sector given the central angle and the area. So here is the question. The diagram below shows a sector A or B. So the sector A or B. Arc AB subtends an angle of 21 degrees at the center O. So this arc here is subtending an angle at the center O. Okay. So they are saying given that the area of a of the sector is 14.85 square centimeters, calculate the area, calculate the radius. So they want you to find the radius given the area and the central angle. So as usual, uh, for you to find the area of, uh, to find the radius, we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a sector. So from the previous video, area of a sector is equal to theta, which is the central angle, divided by 360 degrees, times uh, pi r squared, which is the, the area of a full circle. Okay. Now, we start replacing here. Area, we have been given 14.85, so we are going to have 14.85 is equal to theta, where we pick the central angle, which is 21 degrees divided by 360 degrees uh, times pi. They have said we take pi to be 22 over 7 times the radius. The radius is the one that we are looking for. So it will be r squared. Remember, this is r squared. The radius will remain like that. Okay. From this, from here, we can simplify some things. Okay, we can simplify some things. 2 can go into, into 22 11 times. And 2 can go into 360 180 times. Again, 3 can go into... I mean, 7 can go into 21. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. 7 into 21 is 3. Okay, so here we are remaining with um, this. So, we are remaining with this. Let me just rewrite it here so that you are able to see you have 14.85 is equal to, this is 3 over 180 times 11 times r squared like this this is what is remaining okay again here we can simplify three in three one so we have one there and three into 180 is 60 i mean is 60 yes 60 this is 60 Okay, from there we are now going to have 14.85 is equal to 1 times 11 is 11. 11 times r, we are going to have 11 r squared. 11 times r squared, we are going to have 11 r squared divided by 60. Divided by 60. Okay. Then next, 
we are going to write this as a, as, a, as a fraction like this and then we are going to cross multiply uh, so we are going to have 1 times 11 R squared is um, 11 R squared is equal to uh, 60, 6 times 14.85 so we are going to have 60 times 14.85 Okay, so um, let me take it this way. So we're having 11 R squared is equal to 60 times um, 14.85 like this. So now we need to remain with R squared this side, okay? We need to remain with R squared this side, so meaning we're going to divide through by 11. We're going to divide both sides by 11, okay? So 11 and 11 will go, and so we will remain with uh, R squared is equal to, okay? is equal to 60 times 14.85 divided by 11. This is what we're going to remain with. Okay. Now, 60 times 14.85 is equal to 891 we're going to have 891 divided by 11 okay so we're going to have r squared is equal to 891 divided by 11 is 81 we're going to have 81 now we are being asked to find r and not r squared so what we're going to do now is to take square root on both sides so that this radical symbol and the square goes and uh, we are going to have r is equal to which is the radius r the square root we have uh, two square roots of uh, 81 which is plus or minus 9 but in this case we are being asked to find the radius radius is uh, is is length and there is no way we can have a negative length so we are going to have a pos we are going to pick a positive root positive square root of 81 so radius is going to be 9 okay so this is the radius that they they wanted the radius is 9 okay so if you have found this video very useful or if you've enjoyed our teaching, we encourage you to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math. Um, so the next video is going to be on how to find the arc length. Remember, this is like a series. This is like a series. We are we started by finding the area of a the area of a, a sector, then we move on to finding the central angle. And today, we have just looked at how to find the radius. Now, the next thing that we are going to look at is how to find the arc length. So, subscribe for more free math lessons. See you in the next video. Goodbye.